Hello everyone, Dr. David Cullough here with Synergy Wellness in New York City. Today we have another case of a degenerative disc, right? Remember we went over that with you here? Mm -hmm. So she has a degenerative disc at L5S1. Today is your third visit, I think? Third, yeah. Third visit. She has, well, she, gosh, when she came in, she couldn't even barely walk. You were in pretty bad shape. Yeah, I had to use a... A scooter to hold myself up. <laughs> yeah, so she was, she came out on a scooter, on a Segway scooter, just to hold herself up, which made me nervous. Just, you know, anybody having really bad sharp back pain, sciatica down the left leg, um, I don't recommend riding a scooter, but uh, she needed it just to walk a few blocks to get here to the office. So anyway, that being said, that was three days ago. How are you doing now? Much better. It's, um, like that day I couldn't bend over. I have a kid and two little dogs and at that point I was barely mobile and now I'm, you know, I'm, I'm regaining mobility, like flexibility, stuff that you really just take for granted until yeah. you lose it. <laughs> yeah. So, so, um, so I'm less afraid and I'm not having like those sharp pains that I was having all Great. the time. Great. So she, uh, like I said, today's our third visit. She's had two visits, two days in a row. Uh, we're leaving for the weekend, so we want to make sure that she's feeling comfortable and she can sleep through the weekend without any significant pain. Obviously, we have more work to do next week. But um, I want to show you guys something. You hear this noise behind me, this That is an auto flexion distraction uh, table. So this table, we've showed you the Cox table. You'll notice this table here auto flexes. Now you'll see that lower half of her body right here, lowering down and coming up. And it's just a slight movement. What it's doing is it's opening up the facet joints where the nerve exits in the back because um, she's also got facet syndrome here in the lower back. And I'll show you guys what facet syndrome is. Uh, we'll put a little graphic up here. And facet syndrome comes from lower cross syndrome where we have weak abdominals, weak hamstrings, and our, our belly and our pelvis drops forward. And then because it's dropping forward, because she's flat footed, we won't get too much into that. But the back or the brain says, whoa, let me pull back here. and then you end up pulling back into hyperextension here at your lower lumbosacral joint. Very common with people. Um, one of the ways you can tell you have facet syndrome or even maybe a degenerative disc at L5S1 is if you sit for a long period or a couple hours and for you to get up, it takes a minute for you to kind of straighten up and kind of after a minute or two, you're able to straighten up and stand up, then you probably have facet syndrome and chiropractic is one of the best things for that. PT can also help with that, but to actually have a manipulation of the sacrum is way more effective for facet syndrome than physical therapy. Um, PT will help strengthen and support the, strengthen the hamstrings, strengthen the abdominals so you don't develop facet syndrome again. Um, and that's what we're gonna eventually do with her, get her on some stretches and exercises and we're going to take her off of this auto flexion right now that you see her on, okay? Now your dad is a surgeon, correct? Yes. A trauma surgeon. Yeah. So um, we're not mentioning any names or anything <laughs> like that, but he had surgery. He had multiple back had surgeries. Multiple back surgeries, yeah. How many? He's had, he had two. One, I think, was like a a laminectomy and then mm -hmm. he had something else i don't know if it was a fusion or a discectomy or something but okay but he's continued to have a lot of pain and i so he's had a few surgeries back surgeries and he's still in pain this is a really really great technique for him and effective um and just to name we have several patients that have had laminectomies and uh, receive this treatment right here. And I think we've done a video on a woman that had a whole cage around the spine and she had more than one laminectomy. Mm -hmm. um, and she's doing great. She runs a restaurant, she cooks you know, Italian food over the kitchen all day long and she's doing great. It's been about a year. Uh, we now see her maybe once a month. So your dad, there is hope for him. Um, 
but uh, going back and getting another surgery is probably not the right answer. Yeah, I don't want and, that to happen to me. So. And another thing I would recommend to your father is, since he's had a couple of surgeries, mm -hmm. he should try to go to a chiropractor with cold laser therapy. Mm -hmm. If he does flexion distraction technique mm -hmm. with cold laser therapy, mm -hmm. he will improve immensely. I can promise you that. The combination of the two is powerful. So the laser will break up scar tissue, yeah. heal and repair the tissue, reduce inflammation, reduce muscle spasms, and that's only gonna help him increase his range of motion in his back. And then the flexion distraction will take you know pressure off the nerves and open up the facet joints gently. Yeah. Tender right here? Uh, yeah, not okay. as bad. I'm, oh, that feels good. I mean, it hurts, but it feels good. It's gotcha. <laughs> Take um, a deep breath in for me and blow out. And again. And blow out. So you see here I'm contacting the bottom, the mid to bottom part of the sacrum, and we're going to adjust it down. I'm getting space. Basically, mm -hmm. everything was just pushed together. Yep. And when we do the flexion distraction technique, you'll feel that even more so. Okay? Yeah. I had a question. You said, so I'm not supposed to sit um, for long periods of time, which I think has contributed to why I, my back got so wrecked over the last few years, uh, because I'm sitting and doing computer work a lot. But I, because of my flat feet and I don't have the insoles yet, like I shouldn't stand too much either, right? <laughs> So I don't know what I should be doing with myself. Well, the the foot inserts come in five days. So okay. as soon as you order those, we can we can go ahead and get you those as soon as possible. And then you have to break them in. It takes a few days, sometimes a week or two, to break them in. Um, as far as the seat goes, there is something called a sacral wedge uh -huh. that you can use. Okay? okay, and that's a cushion that has a cutout right in the center here, so your tailbone floats okay. above the chair and the pressure on the tailbone doesn't push up into the lumbosacral joint. Okay, that's good. So it's not, it's not a cure, but it's going to give you a couple extra hours of sitting more comfortably, I guess, is the best way to put it. Okay. And I'll show you. We have one. Sam sits uh, on one up front. Okay. Um, and now that's what we give people with degenerative discs, oh, and it just so takes pressure okay. off the back. So this is going to space out the facet joints and take your lumbosacral joint or that joint that's got the facet syndrome mm -hmm. and open that up and reverse and that facet syndrome. I kind of do this when I was trying to kind of help myself before I came with yoga stretches and stuff, but I wasn't able to get this, this extra space, you know? Like yeah. I felt like I was in the right direction, but this is so, and it's gentle. Yeah. It should be easier when you go home this weekend and do some of those yoga stretches again. I just don't want you to do too much twisting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you do like the child pose, it yeah. shouldn't be a problem now for you. Okay, you should be able to do it now a couple days later after the injury. And maybe one day, if your dad doesn't see a Cox flexion distraction chiropractor in West Palm, maybe, maybe... We'll get him in here oh, one I day. That so much. I feel like he, it could change his life. Yeah, I always like to make uh, change opinions of surgeons yeah. and medical doctors. Sometimes they have a, a skewed look at, at what the profession does at chiropractic. And that's why I have this channel, because a lot of people don't really know what chiropractors do. They think they have an idea but they're not really sure. And this, you know, no cracking. This is a gentle technique. And as I said, it's the gold standard for degenerative discs, yeah. herniations, stenosis, post-surgery of the spine. Okay. So I'm gonna have you take a deep breath in. Good, and blow all the way out. Excellent. Okay. Keep your legs straight. Raise one leg as high as you can. And down. And the other one. 
Good. I'm like scared to do that one. Right? Were you okay there? I didn't hurt. We're going to do one more sacral adjustment here. Good. Okay, turn over on your back. Now, I can assure you folks, if her dad does come in, um, he probably won't let us videotape it, that's <laughs> for sure. Uh, we, we even have a video of a pe pregnant pediatrician. Oh, wow. Which was nice that she, she, was, she wanted to uh, do the video and um, explain to people that chiropractic is the best thing you can do uh, if you're pregnant and you have back pain because taking Tylenol and aspirin yeah. is not a good solution or a good answer for that. Um, take your uh, chin, tuck it down, take a deep breath in, good, and blow all the way out. Okay. Relax your arms. You're all set. Now, I'll see you Columbus Day. Okay. Is, all that, right. is that Monday? That's, That's Monday. Monday. Okay. Yeah, we'll be here. Okay, great. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Thanks, thanks, for, thanks for letting us shoot a video. And folks, thanks for tubing in. If you guys have any comments or questions, make sure you comment below. Thanks again. Appreciate you.